Hey, what's up, guys? This is PokeTuber1983, and today I have a deck profile for you guys. Uh, it's going to be uh, Apollyon. Uh, I've been playing this deck for during my playtesting, and um, it's been quite a while since I played with it. Um, I really like the deck. Uh, I'm playtesting for regionals right now, and uh, yeah, so I'm just going to give you my list of uh, how I run it. So, first right off the bat, four Empoleons. Uh, your main attacker of the deck only needs one energy. Attack a man plus silver bangle just is too good. Next up, we have just two uh, print plops. Find two, very good. And next up, we have four of the cute pit plops. I like this one better. I like this art. Um, but yeah, I uh, like uh, this is all right. Four, four, two, four is a great line. Next up, we have a 1-1 one, one Dustnoir line. Uh, Dustnoir allows you to move the damage. Um, so you don't have to waste uh, your Empoleons attacking. So if you're attacking like a Darker IEX and you already did like 110 to it, and you're going to do 110 again, you actually move the damage around so you don't have to waste that 110. It can go to a different Pokemon and so forth. So a lot of math in the deck. Uh, so yeah, just 1-1 one, one line of that. One, uh, just one Mr. Mime. Uh, Mr. Mime is just for bench damage. It's good against the Darkrai matchup and the Genesec matchup. One Execute, basically um, a limited diving draw. That's pretty good. And uh, you can discard stuff with him with Ultra Ball and uh, Thousand Machine. So, yeah. Uh, one Jirachi. Jirachi allows you to search for any supporter in your deck once you place on the bench. Um, so, with him, he'll get you out of those sticky situations. Um, the only bad thing about him, he's not very good, like, when Dark Ride comes. Or, like, Dark Ride Garbodor, or any Dark Ride deck for that matter. Um, that's an easy prize. So, if you're battling, like, a Dark Ride deck, and, uh, I feel like you should just save him for last. Or, if you know you're going to win that turn. One, Emolga. This, is, this deck doesn't run Beach. Uh, it's a budget deck. You know, I don't want to... So you guys don't buy it. I mean, I mean, like I don't want to do, <laughs> like. Um, I want to give you guys like a, a deck that you can actually play. But if I tell tell you to play beach, like if I show you how to beach, I'm like, oh well, th what's the point of this? But um, yeah, this is not beach version. Uh, it's called Family. Uh, it's pretty good actually. If you go second and this is like your main starter, for one energy you get two basic Pokemon out of your deck and it goes onto your bench, which can help you in the long run. So I want one Emolga. Next up, we have two Eevees. Um, you'll see why in just a second. So two Eevees. And then I play one Leafeon, one Flareon. I've been playing around a little bit um, with the Eevee count. I find a two two line of the Flareon, you know, like the 2-2. Two, two. Um, it's very, very good. Uh, I haven't, like, fooled around with, like, a... Two Leafeons, two Eevees, or two Flareons, two Eevees. I think one one's good for these. Um, Energy Crush for don't, uh, for don't, uh, Jesus, I'm tired. <laughs> um, for those who don't know, Energy Crush does um, 20 times the amount of energy on your opponent's field. So if they're facing like a uh, Rizion Genesec deck, um, or in uh, Blastoise Keldeo deck, you know, he's the right tech for that. But, um, yeah, he hits for hard damage. Actually, you know, I won actually a couple of games with him. Same thing goes for Florian. Um, this, there's no double colorless on the deck, but this takes time. You know, just attach one energy and then wait for the next turn. Vengeance does a lot of damage. It actually is a game ender in some cases. So just Vengeance, especially when you go against Flareon, uh, Rizion Jansek, it's brutal. So that's it for the Pokemon lineup. I believe I run 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I run 20 Pokemon in this deck. So, it's a lot. Next up we have uh, the item cards or trainer cards. Uh, four rare candy basically gets your Empoleons uh, faster or your Dustnor. Three Ultra Ball. Uh, three Ultra Ball seems to be working for me. Um, I basically use them for uh, 
like using executes ability, start getting more stuff on the field, just rushing through my deck. So yeah, three of those. And then three level ball. I may actually either take out a level ball or ultra ball for like another um pull scrapper. But uh you guys you guys tell me uh what you think. But um yeah, just three level balls. Searches for your 90 or lower uh, basic Pokemon like Piplups, uh, your Moga, uh, Execute if you want to discard it, uh, Mr. Mime, uh, you know, Eevees. This deck around, uh, revolves around uh, basic Pokemon. Like basic starters. Next up I have three uh, Silver Bangles. Silver Bangle, uh, basically, you attach it to Empoleon uh, for one energy and it does 30 extra damage. So if you have a full bench of... Pokemon, so you're doing 60, plus that, that's already 90, and then plus whatever they have on their field. So that's really, really good. Just three of those. I played four before. Um, sometimes they clog up the hand, sometimes they don't. It's, 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 it's players, it's player's perspective, or player's choice. Two max potion. Um, sometimes, uh, you know, I'm pulling doesn't get one shot a lot. And, um, you can just set your turn, uh, your opponent like back a turn when you go hot. Max potion, restart the damage. So uh, just two max potions. Two super rod. I think is the only deck ever I play with two super rod. But yeah, um, super rod gets uh, since you're like running running thin lines, you're like running thin lines. Um, get you back your Eevees, your Freerions, your Leafions, your Dust Nors, your Empoleons, some water energy, uh, stuff like that. Stuff that can like help you win the game. Just two of those. And then one tool scrapper. Um, see that's what I was talking about, like the three level balls, the three ultra balls. I may take out one of them from either set and um replace it with a tool scrapper because Dark Knight Garbodor is a thing now and it's very, very powerful and it shuts off your abilities. But I've been uh, I've been up against that deck and um if you can put pressure early on with your stuff, um, you have a good chance to win no matter if you don't uh, diamond draw. After that, we have one escape rope. I need something I can switch uh, switch stuff. And escape rope seems like the really good choice. Um, it's either escape rope or a switch. I play with switch, but I like to uh, you know put pressure on my opponent to set up something. And then uh, move some damage around with Dustnor, and then knock it out with Napoleon. It's just stuff like that. It's just player's perspective, like again, I said. Uh, then one Dowsing Machine. Dowsing Machine is your ace back of the deck. Uh, you're running Execute. You can discard one card instead of two since you're running Execute. So Dowsing Machine lets you get any card, uh, any trainer card back. So it gets you your supporters, your item cards. Enough said. And if you hear something in the background, it's my um, boiler. Yeah, so. And now for the support lineup, I run four Juniper. Um, discard your, <laughs> discard uh, your hand, draw seven cards. It's really good, considering that you're playing you know, like a draw based deck. And see, so it just kind of shut off too. So four ends, uh, hand disruption your opponent, stuff like that. You already know this. You know I play four and put four ends in every deck. Three Skyla. Um, Skyla is actually, it's a card that you you can run two or three. If you're running beach, I would suggest running four or something like that because you want to hit that beach early. But, um, three Skylar works for me. I mean, I get my level balls, my ultra balls with it. Um, that's the main stuff I usually get with it. Or, like, super rods or stuff to get me, uh, Pokemon or stuff back in my deck. So, yeah. And then, uh, two chorus. Uh, you're, you're benching a lot of Pokemon. Um, there's no reason why not to run two. Um, you're gonna draw, like, six Pokemon and then whatever your opponent has because you want to flip your bench as much as possible. So, this really acts like a Professor Oak's new theory. If you all remember that card, thumbs up. And uh, energy lineup, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 water energies. Um, I feel good with 7. Uh, sometimes I super rod back in the 7 cards. So 
not seven cards, seven energy. Um, yeah, so it works for me. Seven energies work for me. But uh, how I feel about this deck, I mean, oh, it's gonna fall. In. It's good. Like, um, it's a good beginner deck, especially because it's not that hard to pick up. Um, but yeah, it's a it's a really good deck. I, it's a really fun deck, actually. It's fun as hell. Um, I think I haven't had that much fun with the deck since um, I play like Tool Drop. So yeah, I like this deck a lot. It's a uh, it's very very fun to uh, to hit stuff with Dustnor, like move some damage around with Dustnor, then knock out stuff with Napoleon because you're only hitting for one day, uh, for one energy, and um, yeah, it pisses off your opponent. So uh, that's it for the deck. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed and uh, like, comment, subscribe. I'm gonna do more of these uh, deck profiles. Uh, pretty soon because I am going to regionals. This is a time where I have like multiple decks on me. I think I have like four or five decks on me right now. So yeah, um that's about it. So uh thank you guys for watching and I uh, will talk to you later. See ya.